Tonight, former President Trump facing a new threat of jail time at his hush money trial after his 10th violation of the judge's gag order. He's taken away my constitutional right to speak. The judge directly addressing the possibility of putting Mr. Trump behind bars over future violations. The magnitude of such a decision is not lost on me. You are the former president of the United States and possibly the next president as well. Adding, as much as I do not want to impose a jail sanction, I will, if necessary and appropriate. Frankly, you know what? Our Constitution is much more important than jail. It's not even close. I'll do that sacrifice any day. The judge fining Mr. Trump an additional $1,000 for complaining about the jury in deep blue Manhattan, saying it's 95% Democrat. The judge saying the former president wrongfully called into question the integrity of the jury. Mr. Trump has pleaded not guilty to low-level felony charges for allegedly disguising reimbursements to Michael Cohen for hush money payments to Stormy Daniels as legal expenses in his company's internal business records. If convicted, Mr. Trump could face anywhere from four years in prison to just probation. Taking the stand this morning, Jeffrey McConney, who oversaw the Trump Organization's accounting department, striking at the heart of the prosecution's case of falsifying business records. Testifying about invoices, describing the reimbursements as legal expenses, saying he was ordered by another Trump Organization executive to reimburse Cohen $420,000 for the $130,000 payment to Stormy Daniels, most for Mr. Trump's personal account. But on cross-examination, McConney said he had not spoken to Mr. Trump directly about the business records. Another Trump Organization employee, Deborah Tarasoff, testifying about Mr. Trump's process of signing checks, including to Cohen, which were shown to the jury, saying if he didn't want to sign it, he didn't sign it. It was signed in Sharpie, and it was black, and that's what he uses. And Vaughn, the prosecution also giving an indication of the timing of this case. Yeah, Lester. Prosecutors said they intend to call witnesses for about the next two weeks. At that point, Mr. Trump's team will be able to present its own defense. And, of course, the question of whether the former president will take the stand himself. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.